delusional Meryl Streep wants Hollywood to take over DC, you won't believe her plan. With each passing year, America learns how vile Hollywood really is. It's almost laughable how much the industry lacks basic morals and values. Yet, these arrogant elitists believe they know better than the rest of the country. They continue to talk down to us, even when their own business is consumed in scandals. Now, Meryl Streep has announced that liberal actors should run Washington, D.C., and you won't believe the delusional actress's plan. Meryl Streep continues to lose credibility with Americans. The virtue-signaling hypocrite has only alienated herself from most people. Ever since her pathetic rant against Trump last year, people are losing patience with the once-beloved actress. She thought she had the right to lecture Americans for voting for Donald Trump. Streep, like most people in Hollywood, believed she had moral high ground to bully us. How pathetic! This last year has brought even greater damage to the woman's reputation. It came out that one of her biggest allies in the business, Harvey Weinstein, was a serial sex predator and rapist. As stories poured out about how he abused, harassed, and assaulted vulnerable actresses, people began to wonder, how was this going on and nobody knew about? Eyes turned to Streep, a woman so devoted to Weinstein that she once called him God. Few believe she and the rest of the Hollywood crowd were ignorant of Weinstein's crimes. Yet, Merrill continues to claim the moral high ground over conservatives in America. She has the audacity, along with the rest of Hollywood, to lecture us about right and wrong. Sorry, but we aren't protecting an industry full of rapists, harassers, and child molesters. The celebs are. Recently, Merrill appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live to gush over the President Oprah fantasy. Ignoring the many sins of her own industry, she speculated on the kind of cabinet a celebrity president would have. Surprise, surprise, it would be nothing but vapid, shallow, attention-seeking celebrities. Actress Meryl Streep has made a number of suggestions over potential cabinet members for an Oprah Winfrey presidency, including fellow actors such as Tom Hanks, Harrison Ford, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. When pressed on who Oprah could appoint to her cabinet or as vice president, Streep also suggested just, keeping, it in Hollywood. Somebody from the stage, mentioned, Tom Hanks, and he seemed ready to go, she said. That would be a pretty good ticket. You could just keep it in Hollywood, you know, you could have The Rock as the Joint Chief of Staff, Harrison Ford running defense. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has also repeatedly fueled speculation about his own presidential run, describing it as a real possibility, although it is not clear whether he would run as an independent or on a party platform. Source, Breed Bart. Oh, yes. And, let's make Lady Gaga the Secretary of Defense, Beyonce Director of the FBI, and Jack Black can run Health and Human Services. Perhaps Roman Polanski can run the Department of Education. Yes, I'm obviously being sarcastic. It stuns me to see how arrogant and blind this woman, and her industry, is. They have been protecting sexual predators for decades. They have lectured us on how evil we are for not voting for liberals. Their names are constantly in the tabloids for their wild, unchecked, immoral behavior. And, then, they are deluded enough to think they should be running the country? We're at a point now where we should be asking if America should even support their industry. Why should we throw away our hard-earned cash to prop up a business that abuses women, men, and children? This is an industry that was complicit in the molestation of child actors, an industry that allowed producers to lure women into hotel rooms and an industry that looked the other way when young teenage boys were harassed by older actors. Instead of sending them to Washington, they should all be thrown into jail. Americans who value morals and decency should strongly consider boycotting Hollywood. They need to understand their values or nothing like ours. Instead, Hollywood ignores the burning house that is their industry, giving out awards to each other. Oh, you wore black to the Golden Globes? That will erase years of crime and abuse. Meryl Streep and the rest of them should just be happy they're still in business. They can pat each other on the back during Jimmy Kimmel's show all they want, but I would be shocked if any of them will still be around much longer, much longer.